What's your go-to order from Wendy's? Besides a Frosty, of course. A Dave's Double, a Baconator, a Bacon Jalapeno Cheeseburger? Maybe you get a Wendy's Staple, a bowl of chili on the side. Sure, you might opt for a spicy chicken sandwich, but if what you were really in the mood for was chicken, you'd probably be sitting in the drive through line at Chick-fil-A or Popeyes instead. And nobody really wants a fast food salad. Wendy's is a hamburger joint first and foremost, which is why people have been so surprised to see signs warning that no burgers or chili are available. In the words of Wendy's most famous pitch woman, Where's the beef? Yeah. Hey, where's the beef? The answer has to do with the meat supply pipeline experiencing some serious complications due to COVID-19. Bloomberg reports that while there is still an ample supply of meat in cold storage, the fresh meat supply may be getting critically low as several major North American meat processing plants have been shut down by the pandemic. Conditions on crowded processing lines have been particularly conducive to the spread of the virus, and hundreds of meat plant workers have been infected. And there have been additional complications along the supply chain with meat producers who once supplied restaurants trying to shift more of their output to supermarkets. Just as much of the meat supply had been diverted from the restaurant industry toward grocers. The possible reopening of full-service restaurants has led to supply chain confusion that is affecting the meat supply, not only at restaurants but also at retailers. Costco has even recently been forced to implement limits on the amount of meat members are allowed to purchase. The shortage is a particular hit for Wendy's, which has always made a point of only using fresh, never-frozen beef. Any fast food chain that uses fresh beef is going to have short-term challenges making sure it has enough. And it's coming at a bad time for the chain. Restaurant Business reports that Wendy's largest franchise holder, NPC International, has been considering a restructuring that might lead to a bankruptcy filing. While this would not affect all Wendy's locations, it still might come as a major blow to the brand. And while the beef shortage hasn't touched all of Wendy's restaurants, CNN Business reports that some 18% of Wendy's 5,500 restaurants nationwide currently have no beef to sell, citing locations in Ohio, Michigan, and New York. Time adds that at least some of the chain's California locations are also without beef for the time being. Since at this point, no one can predict when the meatpacking industry will be back to business as usual, it may be some time before you can get a complete biggie bag again. You're out of beef then? Out of patties? So what can you still get at Wendy's? If you wake up early enough to get to the drive-thru while they're still serving breakfast, most of those items should be on the menu, since none contain beef. If you just can't live without a Baconator, you may still be able to get one. The Breakfast Baconator, made with a sausage patty instead of a beef burger. If you're having Wendy's for lunch or dinner, your choices may be more limited. Salads are still an option, except for the taco salad, which includes beef. You can still get baked potatoes and fries, even cheese and bacon topped. The chili cheese varieties, however, are likely not an option. Chicken, of course, is still available, in the form of Wendy's sandwiches and nuggets. Your mileage may vary on those, though. What Wendy's does not offer at this point, at least in the U.S., is a plant-based burger. It did introduce its plantiful patty to the Canadian market in February, according to the Vancouver Courier, but it's not yet on the stateside menu. Of course, there's always dessert. While the cookies don't ever look too inspiring, the frosty cookie sundae has promise. And then, of course, there's the best fast food dessert you can get, Wendy's justifiably famous frosty. In fact, if you order some fries and dip them in your frosty, you can consider that a meal in itself. We won't judge you. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about fast food brands are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.